Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jasmine if you're new and today I'm going to show you my setup at home for gel nails. I'll also show you how I'm going to remove my old gel polish and how I get a gel manicure at home. All of these products can be found on Amazon and guys, once you have this set up, you'll save so much time and so much money doing this at home. These are nail and toe clips and instead of wasting foil paper, you can use these a cuticle clipper for removing hangnails and dead skin, and a nail clipper to trim down your nails. Q-tips with the pointed and flat end to clean up any of your mess. A gel polish removing tool, and UV light polishes. A base coat and a top coat, and I love these. And the polishes I have are from Sally Hansen, and this is my favorite color, Shall We Dance. These are two others by Red Carpet, Black and Silver Glitter. Here's the UV light. It has presets for 10, 30, 60, and 90 seconds. It counts down once you put your hand inside. You'll need an acetone that specifically removes gel polish from your natural nails. I use cotton rounds, but you can also use cotton balls. I cut mine in quarters. Several different nail files. I'm gonna start by removing my old chipped polish. I'm filing down the top coat so the acetone moves quicker and removes the polish. Use the file to file away any hangnails and cut those off. Here's how they're looking after filing off the top coat. Now with a small piece of cotton round, I'll dip into the acetone filled cap and apply it to my finger. Then clip it in place on all your fingers. You'll want to keep these clipped on for at least 15 minutes. Check on them after 15 minutes and see if the nail polish is lifting. If you feel like it's not ready, keep them clipped on for more time. Once they're ready, remove all the clips and use the tool to push back the polish. You'll notice it coming off really easily. Trim down your nails with the clipper if you need to. If some of the polish is stubborn, it needs more time, so just clip them on for five more minutes. Now start shaping the nails. Make sure to file any excess polish that's left behind. Shaping the nails is all in the way you hold the file. Cut off the dry skin and any hangnails. And use the file to smooth it out. The nails are shaped and it's time for polish. Start with the base coat and then put it under the UV light for 60 seconds. Got some on your skin, no problem. Use these Q-tips to clean it up. And if you need to dip into acetone, you can do that too. Cured the top coat on both hands. Now it's time for the polish. This is my favorite polish. It's what I had on before. Just an easy, everyday, natural color. Shake well. Apply a thin coat and cure for 60 seconds. You can use one or multiple layers. If you like just one layer, apply your top coat, cure, and you're done. I'm gonna apply three layers because it makes my nails thick. Of course, in between layers, make sure you cure for 60 seconds. Once I'm done with the third layer, apply a top coat and cure. Here's how they're looking. I have some excess polish on the side, so I'm gonna use a file to file it down and reshape where I need it. Lotion up and you're done. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your family and friends who might need some assistance on how to do some gel nails at home. Please subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified of when these videos are going up and thank you so much for watching.